Hey guys, welcome to Balboa Park, home of a ton of museums, gardens, trails, zoos, all in one place. And today I'm doing all of them in one day. It's called the Balboa Challenge. It's never been done before. You're at home thinking, okay, well anyone can just buy an all-day pass and walk in every single building. Wrong. You have to follow a set of rules that I definitely didn't just make up. <laughs> Rule number one, visit every museum and learn one cool new amazing fact at every single one of them. Rule number two, walk through every trail and garden. Rule number three, ride the carousel. I don't care how old you are. And bonus rule, check out a live performance at any one of the theaters. All right, hang on tight. Here we go. Here is one of the earliest examples of upcycled clothing from the 1800s. It's a dress made entirely out of cigar wraps. These held cigar packs together and were made out of silk at the time. Moving right along, this is a skeleton of a saber-toothed cat, which was found right here in Southern California. One of the extinct animals that used to live in this area up until 10,000 years ago. You can call this one Mopa if you want to sound cool. Here you can see how photographers use photos to change people's opinions about certain issues and cause change. This one can get pretty dark, but it was by far one of my favorites. Let's cheer back up at the Comic-Con Museum. Here you can play every Pac-Man arcade game ever made. Pac-Man is the highest grossing video game of all time. Just like I'm using video, the Mayans were big time storytellers 2,500 years ago, and they carved theirs into sculptures using hieroglyphics. The Railroad Museum has an entire city of this kind of shit. It's literally Mr. Rogers' house on crack. I don't think I learned anything at this museum, but I did spend way too much time staring at all this. Always take a guided tour if you're at an art museum because you will learn so much more. For instance, the presence of Cupid is symbolism that potential love is in the air, but he's already with her, so that means he's checking out this girl as a potential suitor. So what's gonna happen? Well, in this corner, you can see a dog, which in paintings traditionally has been symbolism for family and fidelity. So despite the presence of an insanely hot female walking by, nothing's gonna happen here, and these two are gonna stay together. This is Galileo. 400 years ago, he played with toys like this all day that allowed the inventions of many machines that we use today. few more museums. We're almost there. This museum teaches you how to analyze historic photographs so that you can learn more about a people and their culture. In this case, San Diego, San Diego, San Diego, San Diego, San Diego. At the Science Center, you can learn all sorts of ways that a city can power itself using sustainable resources. And there's a place where kids can share their sustainability ideas or their Instagram. This is the Model T from over a hundred years ago. You can actually still buy these, restore them, and drive them around if you want. Fun fact I learned at this museum is that you are not allowed to film inside. However, I did sneak a quick shot of my favorite painting. It shows the social inequalities of New York City, but it uses shapes and colors to do that. And finally, Balboa Park was taken over by the Navy during World War II after Pearl Harbor, and it was used for training and living quarters for the troops.